Wait a minute. Hello friends, it's Smith Tracy from Smith County Public Library. And today I'm coming to you from my front yard, a whole different perspective. Um, here's a cat, they show up everywhere. That one's name is Sinja. Um, today we're gonna read about Little Red, which is why I'm wearing my Little Red riding hood. But it looks kind of weird when you put it up, so I've got it down, it's hard to read that way. Um, it's wonderful, it's by Beth Wolven and it's published by Peachtree Press and it has got a surprise ending you will not see coming. It's great. So let's get started with our bell. Everyone gather on for story time, including cats. And we put our hands together like this, so no one's talking, and you put them forward like so. Then you open and close them like a book. Read, read, read a book. Travel anywhere. Worldwide, you decide. A book can take you there. Are you ready, Sinja? We're gonna go on an adventure. There's big bad wolves in the story, so beware. Also, when you come by the library this week and pick up your craft for summer reading, it's a ninja kicking red riding hood. So, this one's pretty tough too. Little Red. This is Miss Hannah's, one of her favorites, one of her all time favorites. One day, Little Red's mother called to her. Please take some cake to your grandma, she said. She's not feeling too well. So, Little Red set off on her journey through the forest to Grandma's house. Before long, look at that wolf, he looks scary. Before long, she met a wolf. Where are you going, he growled, which might have scared some little girls, but not this girl. To my grandma's, Little Red replied. She's not feeling well. Is that right? Asked the wolf. You know what he's got <coughs> coming up. And he made a plan. Look what's happened in his brain. He's made a plan. He's going to eat up Grandma and Little Red. Maybe you too, if you were there, little kitty. The wolf said goodbye to Little Red and took a shortcut through the trees and found Grandma's house. Which was unlucky for Grandma. Grandma was eaten. Also, someone tore this page, which isn't very nice. She put on, he put on her glasses and her spare nightdress, climbed into her bed, and there he waited. <laughs> it wasn't long before Little Red arrived and found the door to Grandma's house was already open. She peeped in through the window, but she couldn't see Grandma. Instead, she saw a badly disguised wolf waiting for her in grandma's bed. <laughs> so she already knows he's in disguise, which may have scared some little girls, but not this little girl. She made a plan and went inside. Hello, grandma, Little Red said, though she wasn't fooled for a minute. Oh, grandma, look at her rolling her eyes. Oh, grandma, what big ears you have, she said. Oh, grandma, what big eyes you have. And oh, grandma, what big teeth you have she said. Why, yes, my dear, replied the wolf, the better to eat you with. And the wolf leapt forward, which might have scared some little girls. But not this little girl, which was unlucky for the wolf. I want y'all to look back and see that as the wolf's coming for her, she's got an ax. And I guess she skinned that wolf and wore a wolf suit home. Isn't that the craziest ending you ever did here? But I like it better than the ending where everybody is, um, everybody's eaten. I think grandma was probably freed from the wolf when she got the ax and skinned him. I think that's what happened. Anyway, come by the library this week between nine and five on Monday through Thursday, or today's Wednesday, so I guess today and tomorrow. And then Friday, 10 to one, and Saturday, nine to 12, and pick up your craft for this week. It's a Ninja Red Riding Hood. Um, all right, thank you for listening, and I hope you'll listen in tomorrow.